Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial let's do a simple research on message box. In our previous tutorial we have seen the use of message box, we have seen uh, simple if statements and uh, operators like uh, logical operator, arithmetic operator and uh, other operators and uh, let's have a look at message box and uh, let's do some basic message box functions, message box functions, which we have dealt with before. So let me write a simple code here. A equals hello, and then message box A. Now let's save this as message box xpxp or experiment dot vbs let's save it and let's run that script so we can see hello comes now as far as we have done till now we have understood that if we give message box and inside if we give a double quotation and if I save it and run the script what I get is a it's because it's been put inside the double quotes and the string is being displayed. This A is no longer, this A is no longer read as a variable. I hope you understood this, uh, this particular concept. It's very important that you have to understand this concept to move further. If you haven't understood it, please go back to the message box uh, tutorial which I have uh, done in the beginning of my uh, my sessions and uh, please make sure that you understand the concept now let's see some interesting facts about message box as we know if I want to display let me write a question here uh, a question here so display the following via message box so first comma second third so we this this should be our output from the vbs so let's see how we can uh, make the make this so i will write a equals first a equals first, B equals second, C equals third. Now, message box A ampersand. Now let's see the question again as you can see after first we have a comma then a space so to accommodate that we will use an ampersand then we will put a comma and then we will put a space and close the quotation now we have a comma space that means first comma space now we need the second one second so ampersand B. Now, in order to make a, a line or, a, you know, in order to skip a line via showing the message, we need to use the command called as VB line. Let's not use it now and let's just put ampersand C and see how the result goes. This is to avoid the confusion on your side. Now you can see first comma second then third if you need a line if you need this particular word to skip a line you have to include ampersand vb new line now if you just save it and if you try to see it again you can see that the line is being skipped 
So that's about uh, this simple VB line function. Now we will see one more thing. So let's take all of this off and let's input let's input a equals 10 now message box a gives you what 10 obviously but have you ever wondered what will happen if I give message box a equals 10 we haven't done this so far in fact we have used if a equals 10 then we have used this kind of uh, this kind of things so what I need to what I need you to understand is if you use equal function it in fact is being used to compare so if you use a equals 10 after the message box it implies that it it takes the function as boolean so message box a equals 10 is actually a true this message box try to read whether a is really equal to 10 so a is equal to 10 so what the uh, this what is displayed to the user is that it's true it's true so if I give a equals 11 which is false message box a equals 11 what is being displayed to the user is that it's false but if I give message box a what is displayed to the user is 10 and if I give a double quotation A, message box A, and save it, and if I display that, what is being displayed to the user is A. Interesting, right? Yes, it is. Now if I give a 10 inside the double quotation, and if I try to see that, what is displayed is 10. But the 10 what is displayed here and the 10 that is displayed while I give the A function is different. Because what is displayed inside the double quotes is always taken as a string. And what is uh, displayed as the value which is being previously given is actually being uh, read as a number so if I write message box A and if I save it what is being displayed will be 10 because the value of A is 10 but if I give message box double code 10 then what is being displayed is not really a number it's actually read as a string even if I give 10 blah 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 it is still being displayed as whatever I've written there because whatever I write will be displayed that's the function of the string so that's about a simple experiment and the only intention of creating this tutorial was for you to completely understand and uh, uh, just wanted you to uh, you know brainstorm you guys about this message box because uh, this is one of the function which we are going to use a lot uh, while we do VB scripting so I hope you enjoyed let's look ahead if you have any doubts you could comment below the video thank you so much for watching and stay tuned